During ESMO 2023, I had the pleasure to present the Innova TV 301 study, in which we compared tisotomab vedotin or TV with standard chemotherapy in patients with second or third line recurrent cervical cancer. This is a group of patients with a very bad prognosis, a PFS of less than three months and an OS of less than 10 months usually in most trials. And we have no real therapy in these patients who have usually in first line chemotherapy and IO. After that, we don't have any good treatment. And what we did in this study, we compared uh, 502 patients that were randomized one to one between the new antibody drug conjugate TV or tisotomab fidotin with the standard chemotherapy. The standard chemotherapy does not have a lot to offer, 5% response and PFS of less than three months, that's the standard. The primary endpoint in this study was overall survival and we needed to have a hazard ratio of 0.7 and we had that with a p-value of less than 0.003. So, so this, this, was, this was a highly significant result for overall survival and the same for PFS and, and the response rates. This is interesting uh, because the side effects, like most a ADCs, antibody drug conjugates, are tolerable and we have now a better treatment with an acceptable toxicity. There were no new signals in this phase 3 randomized trials, so in my opinion we have a new standard of care for second or third line uh, recurrent cervical cancer.